here. They're playing too hot. And uh, to be honest, they might be right. So uh, even with that prediction being at third for many, it might not be the way they expect us to start things off here in Elimination Finals. Well, Sack and Vecina now have to play through West and Power to earn their spot in the Grand Finals. They did come into the top four winners side, but they ended up losing to get their spot here. Yeah, pretty much only by the hands of the people who had just refused to lose right now. No games dropped by Loris and Kaina, but every other game that Sack and Vecina have played have been phenomenal. Oh. And that is a big reversal. Sack is going to get Still the wall touches. touch, though. And Vecina's there with that high coverage. Sack throwing out some signatures. You can see, again, the high force on this blue team. Like, they want to swing big. Yes, uh, that is something, like, even though red team's maneuverability has been pretty good, they do put themselves in the fray quite often, which is going to lead you to big punishes. That was a recovery. Will for a change put West down on the first stock, or first one to lose the stock. Whoa, Sack. What a wild man. Just kind of ran forward and was like, what if I end SIG right now? And Paris like, no. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> no, don't do that. That's pretty much how they lost the previous <laughs> game, so don't do that. But uh, at the moment, Vecina holding on to that first stock and getting a lot of the damage in. Oh my god, going for it heavy. Uh, that would have been huge if they got that on West. I mean, that was still a big pickup from Vecina. Again, high strength on the Zol. Already putting West close to that red damage, but Sack. Happen to avoid this 1v2 for a little minute. The Power Ranger having a bit of a difficulty opening people up so far throughout this game. You see a lot of straight hits, pretty much only that Nair does finally get a couple in a row. Okay, there we go. All of a sudden, Power seems to be waking up. The coverage, the side six coming out. Team combo, Vecina backs up a little bit, but they still convert into a three hit and sig thrown out. Power Ranger is in trouble. Powerful going for that ground pound, but does not get anything out of it. That's going to be a close out there. Good job. And team combo. No, Aemon a little bit too far off to the side. Yeah, I'm not sure if Power like delayed his side air to hope that Wes could get further away. They still managed to get that KO. Nice second recovery coming out from Wes. Big team combo right here again, and they continue to pressure. Also double jumping directly over the top of that, not getting caught at the side. Yeah, they, they end up getting high enough over that signature from Vecina. Sack trying to take some space there. Vecina will put everyone onto their final stocks. There's only so many times you can avoid it. It covers so much range. Here comes Sack, though, with that Seer. Trying to catch Wes with the ground pound, but instead they immediately target shift over to try and get Vecina. Yeah, they saw him hanging out on that wall. Know that he can't avoid too many options there. You see even Power tried to do it again there. Just uh, went for sidelight and then dodged through instead of actually going for a combo extender to try and catch oh, Vecina. Man, he is playing so low on those walls. It's making me nervous, and he's going to let Sack fall because of it. Vecina has basically been non-existent for the tail end of this one, and Power is going to pick up the downlight recovery. Yeah, there was a, there was a window of opportunity where they could have possibly gotten Wes and taken that game out, but Wes was able to clutch it up after taking a lot of early damage, which was not at all the theme of the previous game. But very close down to the wire, the only thing was, like you said, towards the end, Vecina it felt like they were kind of just swinging for the sake of trying to hit rather than having a plan behind the hit. They have to find a way to close that up. Yeah, Vecina seemed scared the second he got into the red. And we're seeing the swap already. Sack is going to go over to the Akuma for game number two. Wasting no time at all. And a good stage to do it too. Val very well known for being, uh, this Demon Island being a haven for them. But uh, this is uh, not how you want to start it off. Oh my already God, in down. the blender. <laughs> the team combos from the red team. Sack is already in the red about 15 seconds into this one, and I don't think Sack's found a weapon yet either. Yeah, even with as good as Akuma is, it's swinging. He's currently only blocking with his face at the moment. This is not looking too good for Sack's start. Meanwhile, uh, Vecina, again, it seems like going for straight hits versus like trying to go in and help. Like that's the most difficult thing. When when you as a team, when you see that, that's a free opportunity to go jump the other player. Yeah, for sure. Like they can kind of recognize that Vecina's kind of letting them have their way with Sack, and that's just letting Sack take a lot of damage. Yeah, see if they can try and make the adjustments around. The gauntlets are now in hand for Sack, so that's going to be a little bit more fearful for Wes. He can't just jump over for free, and they're starting to get some more damage in on power. So it's, it looks like they're waking up as one does fly. However, though for Vecina. Oh, Sack burned a lot of movement there. Oh, the no. side airs. Oh, the no. side airs, and Wes <laughs> takes Sack down to his final stock. They are literally bullying Sack from the beginning of this game up to this point. It's been very difficult for Sack to actually play Brawlhalla. They're really like, yo, go back to Queen Nye. <laughs> yo, get, get off this Akuma, bro. <laughs> Gauntlets, no, go away. But right now, it's. All right, I'm trying to find some positive notes. It's been a little difficult. It's uh, only a one stock difference. It's, it's, it's not the end of the world. 
I'm still looking at Sack's damage already, though. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, Sack, is, Sack is definitely hurting, and he's still kind of playing aggressive. Like, he's still the one kind of diving in the middle of everything and trying to get swings. You saw, like, earlier today, when someone was damaged, they would play that back line. Right now, Sack's still going in. All right. I mean, it, you, I was feeling good about Fasina too. The biggest thing so far, the biggest strength of the uh, red team is when one other teammate get, gets hit, they immediately make sure they get a punish. Like, there's no big extensions you're getting. Sack gonna fall to the GC down sig. Here's the team combo. Down sig gonna swing to the left side. Power wasn't in position to get a follow up, but the Poco, and that's another one in that, the pocket of Weston Power. That was textbook execution on how you do not let someone touch the wall on Demon Island. You saw how he weapon tossed away, forced him to go low. Immediately as he tried to shift back in, he already had the GC uh, D light in position to make him have to shift underneath because you can't take that hit. And what does that do? Perfectly vertical lineup to get caught by a pogo. Everything about this final coverage here, as you see after the D-Sig, was incredible. Web toss down, covers, forced to have to go low. You have to, de you have to dare away because neutral light's right there. But what happens after that? You are now covered by two people on ledge. There's no shot you're making that back. Yeah, that's a, a, a difficult spot to get through, especially, again, you're in a 1v2. Like, even if you get past one of them, the other one's right there covering. And now we're seeing Sack and Vecina pull deep. Vecina going to be over to the Sidra and Sack onto the Taros. The Raging Bull has showed up. It has been a bit since we've seen this. But uh, straight hit territory, maybe that's the play. Maybe not. I'm forgetting two. <laughs> Come on, leave him, leave him alone. I wanted to see what they were going to do. Let them cook. But currently, the only ones who are cooking are the red team, and they are eating good. Yeah, they are getting everything. They're emptying the pantry and cooking a five-course meal. And Sack does make it back to the wall, but Vecina's already down to that second stock. Wes, fairly damaged, but Power's, like, untouched. You see that? Power was power got a hit and knew that they were going to attempt a whip punish, dipped directly underneath, like, get that Sarah out of here. And that was now... What, and power's the one for the change who hasn't been hit, like, at all. Yeah, Sa uh, Power's doing a really good job of uh, recognizing when someone's going to come in and try to get those punishes. What a combo and a follow-up, but they need the KO. Power gets past it. It feels like it, the, the Eternity meme from Pokemon X and Y where I'm seeing stops there hit. I'm like, oh, it's been 3,000 years <laughs> right now. There's another one, and, well, that's three in a row that have worked and gotten the K, uh, got two KOs out of it. So it seems like it seems like Sack's starting to warm up here. Ooh, but Vecina dodges wrong, and Wes has the read with the side air. Sack oh, eats no. the ladder, and Vecina is there to give some reprieve. Sack's going to survive. Sack trying to get a close out here on the West. Misses oh. out on the dare, and West looking for a reversal. Gets the wall bounce. Going out there again. Sack, yeah, get back to get back to stage. Side six. Sack gets the stock. It is technically even, but not for long. Yeah, actually, yeah, this is actually significantly closer than it feels like at the moment. Uh, the biggest factor uh, is staring down power, but you can only take so many straight hits from the blue team's team cop. So if they can get to power, they might be able to even this up. My God, it feels like it's impossible to get to him. Look at, look at the way West is just blocking. He's getting in the way, throwing out as many siders as possible. Like, look, you got to deal with this burst. What are you going to do about it? You, it's so difficult to get to power. It's, it's crazy too, because Wes is on his last stock with like everyone else. Like, power is on too, and Wes is still the one being that front man, just like being a bully in everyone's faces. And that's a split, and that's likely going to be game number three. But the blue team, both of them make it back to their walls. They get back over to the other side. They actually switch who the one villains are going on there. But currently, Vecina is missing all of these shots. Needs to get something going. Weapon Toss stops him, but it doesn't matter. He stopped him and said, no, 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 no. I, I, I had something to show you, but you can't see it. As we see another double KO come through and another 3-0 as they are going to send Sack and Vecina out of here. Man, Power and West powering through the bracket. The one team that knocked him into the elimination bracket is eliminated. So now they have nothing left to fear. They win their elimination finals, which means they're going into the grand finals. I love to see this because this is a team that we're seeing come back and we hadn't seen for a bit. So the question marks are there like, hey, do you still got it? The answer is yes. And they're looking phenomenal at that. Not only are they getting the W's all the way through uh, the limb side pretty solidly. That was one of the few performances I've seen that makes me feel like has a legitimate shot to compete up against Laura's and Kaina in a second.
Yeah, that, I, I think that's a, a fair statement. Like, Laura's and kind of are like this scary monster at the end of the tunnel. And now we're trying to see who's going to be the hero who can make it down to the end of the cave and like fight the dragon that is this team. Yeah, the final raid boss that you have wiped on 50 times over. You're hoping to get the loot for the week, but kind of just laughs as he gets you to reset once again. And. Uh...